Good morning, everyone. We're going to try this again. New life, new house, new job. And I'm headed to Saskatoon this afternoon to learn how to run the ideal combine. Come on along. I'll show you what's going on. We landed in Regina here about uh, 20 minutes ago and just drove out to the hotel where we're staying for the day. Uh, Matt Vanessi is one of the other sales guys with Advantage with me now. Um, as you can tell, if, uh, if you haven't figured it out already, that I've changed dealerships now. So now I work for Advantage Farm Equipment out of uh, London, Wyoming and Essex. And they're a full Agco dealer. Um, I'll be specializing in the Fent Ideal and the Momentum Planters, but it's doing all the other stuff too, so Massey and things. Um, so first week that I've been here, I'm already on training. Headed to do some training on the Fent Ideal out here in, in Regina. Um, it's supposed to be a, a, one of the dealerships nice and close that we're going to go to tomorrow. And then a bunch of infield stuff if the weather holds and then uh, back to the dealership again for the next day. So. We're out here half a day early. Um, we just checked into the hotel. We're gonna go around and check out some of the dealerships here. Uh, there's a Case, a Deer, a Fent, a New Holland dealership just here behind me that you can probably see. Um, they've got such different equipment out here. We're gonna go check things out, see what's different, and then hopefully we can find a couple guys cutting that we could uh, go out and check things out and get some, uh, some footage from there. So come on along, we'll go check these uh, dealerships out, see what's going on and, uh, and see what's different. Ditcher. Never seen that color. No. It's red is it? Uh -huh. Wolverine, sulfur. Yeah, they do get a pump built on the side of it, hydraulic pump. And that's a great arm too. You can see those are in our place where normally they're off the left. There's a weapon, look at that thing. See the old burst out. So this is Nick's service LTD. This is the Fent dealer that we're coming to for tomorrow for our training. Swing in here for a second. Seven S's. There's a Fent 10. Look at that bad boy. Fent 9. 8. Have you sold any of the bailers? Yeah. 4160. Okay. That's a new one then. Yeah. The old greener. Porsche Joker that they took on trade, or they're selling them. Compacts. Rogator 937. Aluminum Boom Rogator 937 with spatties. 
New Holland, DL9. Bunch of Morris air carts. New Gleaner. S98. That's last year's model, right? Yeah. Mm. 9790. Bent head. Ooh, she's a big one. Maybe a 45 footer? Might even be a 50 footer. Wow. Ninety-five, sixty. Old girls. Here you go, massy stuff, Dreamer. Unless it's a trade, I guess. Oh, these carts are huge. These actually aren't that quantum. 60 footer, maybe? I think so. Maybe 60, 50, 60. Fifty point two Sunfire. I had a customer buy one of those big Duggleman Harrows with a cedar box on the top yeah. of it. Loves it. Going to incorporate in the cover crop. Yeah, that's yeah. all they do. They go over wheat stubble and put the cover crop in. Tube line. Yeah, they've got look at the look at the round bale picker at the Andersons. Fathers. All the fence tractors are at the back. We can't get to it. Big Challenger. X9s. Yes, yeah, for tourists. Sorry, folks. You either see this size or that size. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much. There's not a lot of eight R's. John Deere Baylor. Lots of JCB, X9s, 1100. Two wheel drive. Seems to still be a very popular combine out here. And there's a new S7. Oh, no, S680, sorry. Brand new ones. Okay. Yeah. Back. I don't know. Do we want a sprayer? We'll get the 
Cause Axion. Okay, we definitely don't see this back home. Holy lifting. Absolutely unreal. So three hoppers, one, two, three. My bet is you're doing canola on the front, maybe seed or fertilizer in the back too. If you're doing wheat, maybe the wheat in the front and fertilizer in the back. But then it's literally just a single rank on the back end. Like how simple is that? Look at the big wheels that they got on the, like the, it's not even a tire wheel, it's just a big roller. Yeah. And then the finger things down the middle, I don't know what that is. Aeration or something? Maybe. Test. I bet you it's just two bins. Wouldn't it be? I think it's three. You look at the, look at the way that they fill. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. I think it's, I think it's three. The That'll be the micro one in the front, I bet, for doing canola and stuff with. Like that hopper there, they'd be able to plant for an entire day. For that little tiny seed. So just a baby one. Another baby one. And then, holy gosh. I don't know if that's a 60 or an 80. And then John Deere's got a Pro 80 sitting right here that's an 80 footer. Couldn't even get it down the road. Look at the woods of that thing. When we were away, I ended up getting so much video footage that is kind of neat and cool to see. So I'm going to actually break this video up into a few sections. So this one's going to be the end of part one. Uh, part two that you'll see next will be um, all the footage that we got from uh, some guys that we saw actually working in the fields. We literally were looking for dust storms and were able to find them because of the way the weather was going and everything. So that'll be part two and then maybe a part three of actually the training that we did with uh, the Fen Ideals running in the field and some of the other stuff we did. So I'm going to call this the, the end of the first. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, it's definitely glad to be back and looking forward to doing more of these for everybody. Um, as always, if there's any comments or uh, suggestions, throw them in the comments. Um, I'm happy to answer them and happy to do something different. So uh, for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>